I'm currently the, the chairperson of uh, Yeran Aboriginal Health Service uh, on the Central Coast. Um, it comes with a lot of challenges being a, a board member, it comes with a lot of responsibility. We've got over 6,000 clients on our books and um, I guess our role is to make sure that we, we, we protect the integrity of the organisation. That means in uh, protecting the privacy of our clients, also the confidentiality of our clients. And um, yeah, so it, uh, there's, a lot of, there's a lot of responsibility with being a board member, particularly a chairperson, because the chairperson of the organisation has to show that leadership. Has to, um, has to have the vision, I guess, on where the organisation wants to go. And there's a role there for the administration arm as well. And I've seen it in the past where uh, board members uh, get involved in the administration side of the organisation, the administration get, inside of the, uh, get involved in the political side of the organisation. And that's when we get into trouble. Um, we, our board, we've made it quite clear that um, uh, we, uh, if there's anything, to, if anything administrative needs to happen in the organisation, um, that ha that'll happen through our general manager. And I've made it quite clear to our general manager that um, anything that happens politically, be it dealing with health, uh, with ministers or um, local governments or um, any strategic partnerships at that higher level, will then that'll be that'll involve the, the uh, uh, a board member or particularly the, the chairperson or the deputy chairperson. And um, it's crucial, it's crucial that we get that right. And there's a lot of grey areas because um, where do you draw the line? Where do you say, okay, I can't go into this part of the domain and, and they can't go into this, this side of the domain? And I think that's, uh, that comes with experience and it comes with knowledge of the sector. Um, I'm also a, a board member on the AH and MRC, um, which is also challenging. I think that's a, a great opportunity to be able to see how, how things operate at a, at a at a higher level and how that can feed back down into the local level. So I guess in terms of governance, I don't underestimate the importance of governance, um, particularly Aboriginal community governance, because we're torn by our communities and our families. I mean, we've got families that are patients, we've got families that are board members, we've got families that are employees. So uh, it's, it's, it's rather unique. It's, it's a hybrid model that works. And um, if, uh, if governments or or anybody else, there, anybody else out there that w want to see a, a model that is, is, is hybrid like a, the Aboriginal community control sector that has been working and we've been, we're celebrating 20 years this year and we've got the Nacho conference coming down and we can't wait to have all them people on country here and on, on the beautiful central coast. So in respect of good governance, I, I think the model, the Aboriginal community controlled health service model will work and does deliver um, culturally appropriate health services for our people.